Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian, and uh, you know, being the production it is to record this game, funny story is, is I actually did this already. This is the second time I'm going to be doing this beginning playthrough, because I forgot to hit the record button on my second recording program for the actual gameplay and not just the audio. But, uh, let's do this anyways. Starting up Factory Capers. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to read to you guys the objective one more time. So, our objective here is to have at least 1,100 guests in our park by the end of October year 3 with a park rating of at least 600. So, what that means is I've basically got to make a kick-ass park in three years, which should not be too hard. But, um, but besides that, before I start, I've actually been getting a ton of messages from you guys, giving me suggestions on how to improve my game and little tips and tricks on how to make it overall better for myself. So now, one of the tips I was sent, I can't remember who, so please, I'm sorry that I don't remember your name, but uh, I, I get a lot of messages, please forgive me. But anyways, you gave me a lot of tips, and you said one of them was basically to delete pathways that lead to nothing, that way your guests can stay, you know, inside of the zone where there's stuff going on. So that's why I just deleted those paths, so that the guests, for now, I will re-add those paths later, when I need to extend on my park, but for now guests are going to stay in this general area here because that's where I'm going to start building my rise. Otherwise, they're going to be wandering way the hell out here, getting lost and then complaining to me and lowering my park rating. And not only that, I'm going to delete some of this scenery because truthfully, I don't need it and it's extra money in my pocket because some scenery will add to your park rating like all this other fancy stuff that's actually involved with the path. But some of the other stuff really is not going to have much to benefit me. It's not going to do much. But um, apart from that, when you're first starting your park, there is no need to be making massive roller coasters that cost all of your money. Because if you were to do that, you wouldn't really be able to have a good park rating and keep guests staying in your park by occupying them with things to do. So the best things to do is make gentle rides and thrill rides and food. Make that when you start your park off and then you can uh, you know, expand and make some kick-ass roller coasters. But um, since this is the first day of my park, I'm just going to make a generic... Spiral Maze is the very first ride, and uh, you will you'll see why because it is quite beneficial to have something like this. And I think I'm gonna build it right about here. That seems good to me. I might as well open it up. It's not like it's gonna really be negative if I didn't open it. And I will I will leave the abstract looking factory type of building. Why not? I think it's the best option that will fit the factory theme of the park. And um, What's this? Was this the color? Yeah, green is fine. I'm actually going to keep my park color as green. I don't know why. I Even though, actually, you know what? I, t I take that back. I'm going to make it red. My park's theme color is going to be red permanently. So do I want a dark red, like a maroon style red, or do I want a very bright red? Mm, I'll go with the darker red. It's easier on the eyes, I think. And it sort of matches this red better. But then there's always these damn chimney red, so bright. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, as I always do. And uh, now the next thing I would suggest is building paths. And I'm going to make my, my uh, paths red for my rides. And I'm going to keep that consistent throughout my entire park. That way it's quick and easy to identify where, um, you know, where my rides are, where people can get on board onto them, and uh, where, where the regular pathway is. Because I'll keep the regular path as dirt, but my rides are going to be a nice, hot, lipstick red and um, I think that is the right height. There we go. So I've got my spiral maze connected on here. And uh, now I need to make spiral maze. There's no path leading from its exit. Yeah, there's no guests in my park. Good job, genius. All right, turn that angle around again so I can make the damn exit for my total of zero guests to get on board this ride and leave it later on. There you go. There's the exit. You happy game? You happy now? But now, the thing I love about making mazes is, believe it or not, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if it was meant to be like this, but regardless, you can build on top of mazes very easily, which is quite awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put an IMAX 3D cinema on top of my maze. So that's, that's pretty cool if you ask me. And now, where do I want to build my entrance to this? I do know from past experiences that this is a quite a popular ride, so I want to make sure I can make a uh, long enough entrance way that way you know the lineup can build up nicely and keep everyone happy that way they can all get in line wait three hours to get on the ride no big deal i'm gonna rename it imax just because i'm tough and i'm cool like that i'm gonna change the colors to a nice red and black actually 
Red and green. Nah, red and black. Or red and... Actually looks pretty sweet. Red and white, actually, is what I'm going to use. Um, so there's that. Going to continue and make the pathway. Staying consistent, like I said, I'm going to use red. And I am going to bring it down right to the entrance of my park. And uh, knowing from past experiences how popular this ride can actually get, I am going to be spiraling the path, as you can see, because I am very aware of how much people are going to ride this. So, you know, that that actually might be a little bit too short of a lineup, but in any case, it'll have to do for now. And uh, now for the exit pathway, you know, I did think about this beforehand because I am just that intelligent. I'm going to add the path coming from the exit leading directly, yes, right to my spiral hedges, uh, you know, little ride. That way people, when they exit the IMAX theater, they can hop on this. And then when they exit that, so God helps me, I might get lucky and they will exit and go back onto the IMAX and repeat and repeat and repeat. Everyone's happy and they're having a good time. So now I've got two rides. I think I can go ahead and open up my park, start making some income, earning some income rather. And now I'm going to actually add some food and drank, get some drank up in here. So now that people can buy some refreshments, some beverages, keep them all happy. I'm going to up the price to $1.30. That way I make a dollar per item. Keep it, you know, nice, nice rounded number. I'm going to put an information, ugh, slurring, Jesus Christ, an information kiosk so that guests can purchase umbrellas and uh, maps so that, you know, they can figure their way around. And if it starts to rain, they can use an umbrella to help them out. And for the umbrella, I'm going to keep it a bright red just because it looks nicer. So there's the information kiosk. I think I also need to add a food stall. I think I'll start with a Subway sandwich stall. Keep everyone healthy. And uh, I can't click it. What's going on? Did I? I paused the game. Silly me. <laughs> so I'm going to add a Subway sandwich stall right here. I'm going to leave one space in between because I'm going to put a souvenir stand and it's, it's going to be the very unique souvenir stand. <laughs> Not really. That's a joke. Some balloons. So people can purchase balloons and uh, waste their money on the most useless thing in the game. I'll keep balloons as a dark red. Actually, nah. See, balloons and umbrellas, they don't look good when you make them a dark red. So I'm going to keep them keep them as bright red just because it looks awkward if they're not. Make sure I opened all these things up. Did I? Nope. Information kiosk was close. So now I have that all opened up. My park is, is up and running. This uh, this live commentary has been going for almost 10 minutes, so I think before I end, I'm going to add a little bit of scenery to this. Just because scenery, believe it or not, does increase your park rating. It makes people happy, so I think... Not dinosaurs, that'll be way too random. Um, hmm, we're at a factory. Why not add a random... I don't know. Let's see, what can, what can I add? Looking through all these pieces of scenery. I'll add a rocket ship. Nah, that's a joke. You know what? Why the hell not? We're going to add a rocket ship right when you enter the park for $175. I just bought a rocket ship. So uh, that's the end of this episode, guys. I will talk to you all later and have a good one.